Well, spring is officially here, and even before it began, severe weather has caused damage in our area. Here to help you be ready in case of a storm is Mark Hanna and David Fowler. Thank you, gentlemen, for being patient with us today. Got a lot going on on the TV today, so we're glad that you were here. So, severe weather season is pretty much here. I think we're going to have some this weekend. So. Tell us why we should be prepared and how to be prepared for it. Well, we never know what's going to be coming along, okay? Abilene is prone to hail storms, as we've seen back, go back about five years. One of the worst storms to ever hit this area. $400 million in insured losses. That same type of storm could hit here. And it's, it's good to be prepared. Know that you've got insurance coverage. But more importantly, if you've got a claim and you've got a lot of damage, what do I do? And uh, one of the best things to do is know where to turn, who to call, and having an agent right here and being able to go, David, what do I do? And they're going to give you quick advice. And so, David, you've been in Abilene your whole life, right? Been an agent here 45 years. And so you know the type of things that Abilene sees during severe weather season. What's one of the main things that we deal with that we have to be prepared for? One of the things that I want my viewers out there to see or hear is always deal with the local, reputable Roofer mm -hmm. uh, and heavy emphasis on local and reputable. So uh, that's the biggest trouble I have with uh, customers having trouble. They use somebody quick because they thought they needed to be first in line, mm -hmm. and then two months later, the guy hadn't finished the job. Do not ever give any contractor money up front because uh, I've seen that fly by night people. They say, Give me, you know, a thousand dollars, and then they you never see them again. And so, you know, Mark, this is really kind of a sad thing people go through. Disasters like even a hurricane, um, and there's scammers that come in and take advantage of these people. I Literally mean, minutes after the storm yeah. is hit, these folks in the pickup trucks with the ladder in the back will be circling your neighborhood. They're going to be knocking on every door. They're going to be calling every person that's affected, wanting business. Okay, and just go local. Stay away from them. You don't know the quality of their work. You don't know the quality of the material they'll be putting on your house. You don't know where they're going to be the next mm -hmm. day. There's no guarantees, and if your roof is leaking a week from now, who are you going to call? Exactly. And so, David, when it comes to our policies, especially for our home insurance and our auto insurance, not every policy is the same, and not every policy covers a lot. So how do we make sure we have what we need to cover in case of hell damage or a tornado or anything like that? One, dealing with reputable companies, reputable agents. Uh, a lot of companies out there have gone to a name peril policy. Uh, a lot of people want to compare insurance policies based on dollars. you mm -hmm. got to read the wording of the policy, see if there's any exclusions. I know there are some companies who are going to a cosmetic exclusion endorsement on cosmetic uh, asphalt roofs, uh, which is big prime. On policy. your car or truck, you uh -huh. want comprehensive coverage. Okay. Comprehensive coverage will protect you in the event of any hail, of any type of wind damage, trees hitting your car. Uh, it'll protect you in the event of flooding, burglary, and auto theft. And so what really causes the most damage? I mean, what have y'all seen in your your experience? Hail. Hail is the, the number one. You're not mm -hmm. going to have any hurricanes. I mean, that is the big one, but that's along the Texas coast. But anywhere around here, hail, hail does it. And I think you said the last storm we had was in 2014. 2014, correct. What was that like? What, what kind of dollars are we talking about in damage? $400 million in wow. insured losses. It, uh, going back in the last 50 years, that would be like number 21 of all the storms the entire state has had, and that's tornadoes and everything else. And that amount of money does lure in scammers. It definitely does. And David, you know, after that storm, how many people were coming in to your office saying, I've got damage, how soon can we get it fixed? Uh, literally several hundred. Uh, yeah. I give out my cell phone to all my people, and usually after it hits, it lights up real quick. And so, obviously, we want to be insured and make sure our policies are right. Any other advice that you gentlemen have to be prepared? As soon as the storm hits, go outside, check out the damage, look at your house, don't get up on the roof. Yeah. But take, take your cell phone, take stills, take video. If you see the size of the hail, take shots of that. And then you can send that to your agent and go, okay, he will know immediately, gosh, they have had a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. They can prioritize getting an agent out there as quickly as possible. And people will be amazed if, they, if, they're, if they're quick, they've got good advice, and they're working hand in hand with your insurance agent and adjuster. Claim can be settled in a matter of days, mm -hmm. not months or weeks. Okay, and David, being our local agent, where is your office located at? On Buffalo Gap. All right, and always taking clients, correct? Oh, yes. Always, definitely. And you are with? And the insurance business is a competitive business, but again, it's 
you go with a reputable company. Okay, and you are with State Farm, correct? State Farm Insurance. All right, gentlemen, we appreciate it. Thank you for being patient with us today. So if you would like to learn more, you can go to the Insurance Council's website, theinsurancecouncil.org slash springstorms. We will also have some information available along with this interview on our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.